Hey, how y'all doing today? This is Josh from Keep It Techie, and today I want to do a quick video on a terminal bass music player. So let's get started. Now, the music player I want to show you guys is called MOC. Uh, I was scrolling down one of the Linux Facebook groups that I'm a part of, and somebody posed the question. Um, are there any good terminal based music players? So I figured I'll do a video on one that I've used before. So the name of it is MOC. Like I said, uh, I'm gonna go to the Orch Wiki just to pull it up and show you uh, some info on it. And it basically says music on console. That's what the MOC, MOC stands for. It's a lightweight music player similar to MPD. I never use MPD, but uh, I have used MOC. It basically has an interface and a server in the back end of it. Um, so the way to install it is to in Arch is basically uh, Pac-Man, you know, dash capital S um, and in and, and, uh, MOC. And there's a AUR version as well. That's that's the bleeding edge version, so to speak. Um, and then there's one for pulse audio support um, that you can down, download from the AUR. But I'm not going to mess with any of those. Uh, I'm going to just install the, the basic package. Um, there is some front ends for it. Uh, I haven't used those before. I've just basically played it in the terminal. Um, and then also, uh, it's a quick configuration file. Um, and I'll show you how to generate that uh, when we get to installing it. Um, and also you can set it up as systemd service. Uh, and here is the usage. These are the default uh, shortcuts for playing the, diff playing the music and navigating throughout the directories. So, uh, and it also supports Scrabbler, which uh, is for Last.fm, Last.fm. Uh, I've, I've never used that before, so um, never had a reason to uh, install it, but it's there uh, if you need it. And um, this is some quick troubleshooting right here. So, so now let's get to installing it. Um, so, I have uh, Ubuntu uh, VM open, so I'll just uh, open up a terminal and install it right fast, just so you guys can see. Let me zoom in. Okay, cool. It's basic command, sudo apt. Uh, actually, you want to update it first. Just make sure it's updated. So sudo apt update. Type in password. I think this system should be updated. I uh, I believe I updated uh, this VM yesterday, so should shouldn't have many updates if it if it does. So we'll be able to breeze through this. Yeah, so 12 packages, so sudo app upgrade. Sorry, it can't type today. Press enter on that. Uh, good to go. Shouldn't take too long. Okay, now that our system is updated, uh, we can go on and do the install. Like I said, this is a Debian system, so uh, it's sudo apt install and then MOC and press enter on that. Type in our password and it'll go through the install. Shouldn't, this really shouldn't take that long.
Okay, so now that we have it installed, uh, the first thing you want to do is run the run the application itself. So you do mocp, and what we're doing by what we're doing by running it before you configure it is uh, basically creating a, a directory for the configuration file. You can create the directory yourself uh, if you want to, or you can let it do it for you. So the easiest way is just run the application, and then you'll see the configuration directory showing up so this is the way moc actually looks when it's open uh, it allows you to navigate through your directories and play the music so i'm going to quit for now that way i can show you the configuration file so and the way to quit is control no i'm sorry shift q uh, it's basically a capital q in order to quit um, so the easiest way to configure uh, most applications, a lot, a lot of applications, they come with a sample configuration file. Sometimes it's already located in the directory that it needs to be. And sometimes it's in uh, uh, other directories like the user share directory. Uh, so we're going to copy that com this sample configuration file over. Uh, that way we, we, we know that we're using the right format and everything for the config. So I'm going to basically go uh, copy and then we want to um, copy a file under user share, uh, I believe it's DLC uh, and then MOC. And then I believe it's examples folder in there. Yeah. Okay. And we want to copy the one that says config. So I'm a tab so we can see them uh, and especially config dot example GZ. And I want to copy that to the directory that we just created. Um, uh, and I'm going to just do home Josh uh, dot MOC and and press enter on that and it'll just copy that file over that's the one we need so uh upon looking at it it looks like it's uh zipped up it's uh g zipped so we want to unzip that in order for it to work so let's go um cd um dot uh moc and then i'm gonna ls that so what we want to do is unzip that file so we can go g zip dash d and then the actual file and uh, we can press enter on that and then if we ls this directory we'll see that we should have a configuration example yes and it's there um and really what you want to do is make a copy of that so uh, let's go copy config example and you need to learn name it config I believe that's the way it reads it so if we ls we'll see the new copy there so config so let's clear this out and open up the configuration file so uh, I'm gonna use a text editor nano uh, open it up and here we go Here's the configuration file for it. Now I'm not gonna go through and explain every single thing. You can set the default uh, directory for it. Um, you can actually just unhide one of these. Uh, but that's the format. You can go down here. I think it's this uh, couple spots in here. Yeah, here you go. You will put your music directory as default. Um, so just to mess around with it, I'll do I'll do it just to show you guys uh, how it works. So I want my music directory to be the directory that it goes to. And I think my directory is capital. So you might want to put capital on it. It's got to be correct. Yeah, file manager. Uh, yeah, and it's capital. So you want to make sure you put the right font. Um, and 
then um, start in music directory by default uh, if you would have to I think it's, it's set to yes by default if you set it if you want to change that you can hit no um, and like I said I'm not gonna go through a lot of this stuff you can um, you can go through and mess around with it it's not that hard everything is explained really good up in here um, not too hard to to figure out ah and then also you can go in here and set themes um, I actually like the the um, I forget what it's called I think it's the um, let me scroll down a little bit uh, I forget the name of it let's let's look at them right fast Well, you can see so I think it's user share uh, MOC and you don't have to move this over I don't think yeah you don't have to move that over basically you go through and find that uh, that directory and then I actually like the black theme so yeah that's what it is I want to use so we just do black underscore theme theme and yeah and so that should work and that's the only thing I'm going to change in this configuration file for right now. So you just hit Control X to save. Hit yes. Um, it's going to save that. And now if we run MOCP again, um, we'll see the changes that we made. So the theme, uh, I'm not sure why I didn't store it in my music directory, but it should have stored it in my music directory uh, based on that configuration file. So maybe I made a mistake in there somewhere, but... Um, like I said, if you follow the format that it specifies in the config file, it's well documented, uh, then you'll, you'll be able to, uh, you know, configure it just fine. So, um, I don't have any music on this system. Actually, let me get to, actually, let me mount something right fast so you guys can see. So. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm on my share. Uh, I'm gonna go to it right fast. Uh, I know shares are normally located under run. Uh, it should be user and then GBFS and then uh, yeah SMB. I should be able to go to it. Yeah. So this is one of my music directories. And I don't want to get a copyright strike, so I'm not going to play anything. Um, hopefully nobody <laughs> goes crazy over me playing uh, kids bop or, and give me a copyright strike. But um, So basically you just hit enter on it and uh, you, should be able to, you should be able to hear it. I'm not sure if it's coming through the right speakers. Uh, I don't know. As you can see, it even if you can't hear the playback, you can see that it's playing. So, uh, and that's all I wanted to show you that it's playing. So, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, And of course, keep it techie.